I don't think people really understand Candace Owens the way that I understand Candace Owens. I'm I'm Candace Owens' best friend because wow. I know exactly what Candace Owens does, and she's a genius in a lot of ways. She's so media savvy, it's not even funny. Yeah, yeah. And so much so that I might even say that she's like a Machiavellian genius with the amount of plotting and scheming and positioning that she does mm. in order to to make herself a media star, right? You can't deny, you can hate all of her political takes all day long, mm. yep. but when you understand Candace the way I understand Candace, you begin to understand that we're dealing with a different kind of media animal. And and in that way, we I think we have to talk about Candace's firing from the Daily Wire in a different way from, well, she says anti-Semitic stuff and therefore she was fired. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. that that's a little like level one. Candace is operating... I'm giving her a lot of credit here, but it's partially because I want to be generous to Candace. I am very critical of her political takes. I have been, I've made tons of videos sure. about debunking her takes or, you know, whether it's her takes on uh, Jews or vaccines or, you know, whatever it is, okay. right? Like trans people. I've debunked Candace Owens dozens of times. But then I realized Candace says things not as a media entity, not because she actually believes in them. But because she's so media savvy mm. that she has made herself a product to be basically an anti-hero. She's trying to be a Frank Castle Ooh. in the world of media. I like this. So that people latch on to her, not so much because of her ability to say the truth or whatever, but because her brand is anti-establishment, anti-media, anti-whatever it is. Does that make sense? Like sure. She says inflammatory things so that we then talk about her. So that she gets on trending and you know what I mean? It's a really genius model of, of trying to portray yourself as a brand. And I think that we should all quite frankly applaud Candace Owens for understanding that she could create a narrative arc. Like this is how brilliant she is. She could make a narrative arc over the course of months from October 7th to the day she got fired from the Daily Wire of... Well, what is really going on with the Jews? Well, what's really going on with the Jews here? I mean, can't we talk about the Jews? And so for six months, right up on the last six months of her contract, she knew exactly what to do so that by the time her co her contract was up, boom, I'm done. So, oh, that's first of all, I think you're right. She's a master. I don't even say manipulator. Not a manipulator. She, she, no, she's just genius. She at rides and, 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 and sculpts the narrative better than almost anybody in, in the media. It's whatsoever. amazing. Almost, she's she's Trump like in her ability to manipulate and garner media media attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah to yeah. her advantage. That's absolutely. What I'm um, I didn't realize it was at the end of her contract. That's that my like, that's, oh. that's my sneaking suspicion. Okay, that's because like if you think about it, why would you bite the hand that feeds you? Unless unless you thought you could make more money on your own. This is a stepping stone. That's what I'm saying. This, this cancellation, you, this cancel you, culture. Because you come out on top. If, yeah. you, if she thought that she was going to get fired for any reason, she thinks to herself, how do I make myself both simultaneously the victim and the hero at the same time? It's almost impossible to pull hey, off. I just got fired for telling the truth, man. I just got let go. My, <laughs> they didn't renew my contract because I, I was just trying to tell the truth about how I really feel about Jews, right? It has nothing to do with Jews. Candace Owens doesn't actually believe in anything. She will say that there should be no such thing as like uh, discrimination lawsuits based on race or ethnicity. Wow. She herself Ugh. filed a lawsuit uh, for discrimination when she was in college, right? <laughs> she will say stuff like, uh, you know, there's no such thing as racism or whatever in the way that people conceive of it. And then when she gets uh, uh, mistreated at a certain event, she'll say, oh, it's because I'm a black conservative. That's why you guys don't like me. She'll say, I hate identity politics. But then she'll say, as a woman and as a mom and as a Christian and as a black woman, <laughs> she, she is the queen of identity politics, right? So Candace fundamentally does not actually believe in anything as much as she believes in sweet, sweet, sweet money. So the, <laughs> the thing that people are saying pushed uh, the Daily Wire over the edge is actually what I, what I think that it is in terms of them letting her go. And I think she planned this out perfectly. Like this is literally Shakespeare-esque levels of manipulation and coercion. It's a tweet that she uh, liked. When not even she, something she wrote, not something she just not, liked? She, something that she liked. This is from somebody else who said, uh, Rab this is someone talking to wow. Rabbi Shmuley. It says, uh, Rabbi, are you drunk on Christian blood again? Okay, now that 
is a reference to blood libel, which is an anti-Semitic trope that the Nazis used in order to convince people that Jews weren't actually people because they drank the blood of Christians, right? She likes that, knowing that that's going to somehow get back to Benny Papino, knowing that this will get released, and she has complete plausible deniability. Oh, I was just going through just just liking stuff. Didn't even know. Didn't even see it. Didn't, didn't even think didn't about really it. Didn't give it a second thought. Didn't just even give it a second thought. Uh -huh. Just, you know, I don't even know what that means. Candace is a media genius. She'll do very well for herself. I feel the worst for her viewers, to be honest with you. Is, is she successful because that segment of the audience is growing? Or is that segment of the audience growing because she's so good at what she does? She and others no, who it's, trade in No, she, I think that she knows that she can continue to so basically what what candace does is she looks what's trending on kind of right-wing circles mm -hmm. and then she latches onto that just amplifies so Boosts candace it. was a democrat for many years yeah, I knew and that. she wasn't making any money being right. a liberal commentator and then all of a sudden she comes out as a black conservative and she's for trump even though trump's biggest accomplishment according to him is the rollout of the covid vaccines yeah 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 and she's viciously anti-vax so she then will say to donald trump your supporters are anti-vax when she interviewed him. And then Trump will say, well, they're wrong about that because I thought the vaccines were great. And she knows that she is attempting to corral off a certain segment of the media landscape and make it so that she has basically exclusive access to those people. Anti-vax, kind of MAGA people who are uh, deeply mentally ill, probably racist, most likely homophobic. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, she, oh, but yeah. I think oh, yeah. that what people need to understand is like, we don't need to get mad about it because she doesn't actually believe it. She's not a true believer. She doesn't believe in anything. I doubt that her kids are not, not vax. I think that they probably are. I don't think she's that. I don't think she's that stupid. <laughs> that would have been bad. I don't think that she is that fudging stupid to think that that is the case. You know what I mean? Yeah. Although it makes her even more dangerous because at that point she has not no anchor in anything and she'd be willing to do anything to advance the career. Yeah, and that's what dangerous. makes her a genius. That's a what makes her a, evil a stone cold genius. genius. And I wish her nothing but the best in her endeavors. <laughs> and her, in the her next gig is going to be huger. <laughs>